So like we were discussing in the previous chapter, we have ordered for 100 kilos of flour and we got 100 kilos of flour. The vendor did send 100 kilos of flour or coffee and of course he sent an invoice for 100. Very good. But we found out that 50 was defective so we returned 50. That means we only got a net of 50 and the vendor issued a credit memo for 50. So that's settled. But what about the original requirement of 100 pounds? We needed 100 pounds of coffee, right? And that's why we have ordered for 100. But we lost 50 because of a quality issue. So we need 50 more. And that's what was reflected in the open quantity in SAP. This guy over here. It says open quantity is 50. Now, sometimes you might not require that 50. You're like, okay, that's it. That's fine. Let it go. But the system does not let it go. It says there is still an open quantity of 50. Now, what, what, what are the implications of that open quantity? The implications are the PO still remains open. It's not closed yet, meaning the PO is not complete because we have asked for 100 and the vendor only delivered 50. So we need 50 more. Now sometimes we might not require the 50 more. We can say, let it go. We might not need the 50 now. We can order it next month. But the system does not know that. The system thinks that we need 50 pounds of coffee. And in order to find out the open POs by vendor or by a number of other such criteria, you can go to this transaction, ME2L, ME2L, hit enter and select your vendor and in your scope of parameters, type in WE101. Right. So this shows you the open goods receipt, meaning goods that we are yet to receive. We can select one or more than one vendor and click execute. Remember our purchase order was 45000-7193. We go back here. This is the PO. 45000-7193. And it says 50 is still to be delivered and still to be invoiced and the original quantity was 100. Right? So this is a report that shows you all the open deliverables from a particular vendor. Now we can let it remain open, meaning we need 50 more is the signal that we are giving the system and the system assumes that we need 50 more and the vendor also assumes that we need 50 more because we have ordered for 100, he has delivered only 50 and 50 is yet to come in. So far, so good. But like I said, sometimes we don't need the 50. We might want to say, that's fine. We have enough for this month. Let's cancel that remaining 50. So how do you ensure that you close that 50 quantity of PO? You no longer need it, right? So there are a couple of ways to do it. The easiest way to do it is to go to delivery and I'm sorry, I need to go to change mode. Okay. The easiest way to do it is to mark that delivery as complete, that line items delivery as complete. Right. So let's do that. Let's click delivery complete and save. Right. Now, if you go to the delivery schedule, do you see an open quantity here? You see, this is blank. Although the purchase order quantity is 100 and the goods receipt is 50, meaning we have asked for 100 and the vendor has delivered 50, there's no open quantity because we have marked that delivery as complete. Now, if you go back to that report and re-execute it like so, you see that PO is gone. The 93 PO is gone. You no longer see it. 1991, there's no 93. That means that that purchase order is no longer open, right? 
this is one way to do it another way to do it is to block that line item like how let me go back to display change of that po uncheck this flag which means there's going to be an open quantity of 50 right as usual now you can select that line item like so and block it you see this lock so when you block it see again the open quantity has gone so what is the difference between blocking and marking the delivery as complete when you mark the delivery as complete like here this means that you're saying my delivery is complete you no longer need to worry about it it's typically final you don't you don't change it ever although you have the facility to change it but when you block it this could be either temporary or permanent although both achieve the same effect when you lock that line item you're saying typically you temporarily block certain line items why for example there is a quality issue and you want to block all the line items in all the purchase orders for that material you could block that or or you have already created a purchase order with coffee flour sugar 10 different kinds of materials but you want to temporarily stop the delivery of a particular material or or issuing the po for that line item meaning there is coffee there is sugar there is flour suddenly the warehouse guy comes up and says oh we've got enough flour or enough sugar so don't order that now but maybe two days later so you have a choice you can delete that line item or you can block that line item like this this means that the delivery has not happened but you are not going to issue that line item as a PO to the vendor the rest of the line items are going to go as usual so it's a status flag it just says that you know you're temporarily blocking it you could later unblock it like so so it's a temporary way of blocking items so that they're not acted upon further either by us or by the vendor but delivery complete is a deliberate way of saying hey you know what i think we are done with this line item so if there is any shortfall don't worry about filling it we are good right so these are the two ways so there is another way so let's see what we have discussed we said that out of 100 50 remained open and in order to close them there were three methods we have discussed two of them one was to mark the delivery as complete the second is to block the line item and we have seen the differences between these two in the next chapter we are going to talk about something called as delivery tolerance